Why do we set the compound rest at 29 degrees when threading? I'm going to answer this question and many more, like how much do I actually feed in? And why don't we do this on a CNC machine? Disclaimer, what angle is this compound rest set at? In this video, it showed 61 degrees, but it doesn't look like it's set at 61 degrees. How do I know? To make this a little simple, our angle, or our zero angle, is set at 90 degrees to the center of the axis of the lathe. If perpendicular to the center of the spindle is zero, then as we move to the right, the angle increases. If you noticed on this lathe, there's no tool. That's for a reason, because we're only measuring or checking the angle of the infeed. And yes, our infeed angle is 29 degrees, but if you look at the gauge on the side, it says 61. Therefore, you must subtract 61 from 90 to get 29. Okay, so our dimension-wise over our three wires is perfect. It's perfect. There's no burrs. Can you spot any issues with this piece? Let's take a look at the setup. That's what our setup looks like. Do you see it? Our thread is cut at the wrong angle. So if we take a look here, if this is zero, this is 29 degrees, this guy here is 61. So we want to be cutting at, 20, at 29 degrees and not at 61. Let's continue to identify strategies that we can use to set up our compound rest to the proper angle. Our thread example that we're using is 60 degrees. Therefore, if we bisect that angle, it'll be 30, and we set our machine up to 29. Here's an example of what it looks like set at 0, and also at 29 degrees, and at 61. Here's an example of what it looks like when your compound rest is set to 0, and set to 29 degrees. Here's what it looks like when your compound rest is set to 61 degrees. There is no known thread form that uses 122 degrees. Therefore, if your machine is set up this way, guaranteed before you start, you are going to be making a bad thread. The first pass is the same for all angles, regardless of what the compound rest is set at. So your part will look the exact same if it's set at 0, 29, 14 and a half, or even 61. On all of your subsequent cuts, it matters what infeed angle you're using. Let me explain and we'll start with zero. When you feed in at zero, if you take a look at the red lines on the outside of the cutter, it is cutting on the left side of the cutter and the right side of the cutter, therefore putting a tremendous amount of pressure on the actual tip, which you don't want. Now let's look at 29 degrees. If you take a look at the red line, that's where your chips are coming off. If you see, there's a small red line on the back, which would be approximately one degree, but the majority of material is coming off of the leading edge of the cutter, which is exactly what you want. Let's look at 61 degrees. There's no thread form that uses 61 degrees or 122 included angle. Therefore, if your machine is set up to 61, you've already scrapped your workpiece before you've taken your first cut. If I'm not feeding in with my cross slide using the digital readout, how much do I feed in with my compound rest? The infeed depth calculation for cutting external unified threads with an infeed at 29 degrees. For our example, we'll be using 10 threads per inch, which is a pitch of 0.1. Our compound rest infeed equals 0 0.708 divided by 10, so therefore our infeed equals 0 0.0708. We could also use 0 0.708 times our pitch, which is 0 0.1, which equals 0 0.078. Therefore, with our compound rest set to 29 degrees, we would be feeding in approximately 71 thou. Use this number as a reference number. Your final size will be dictated by the over-the-wire calculation size and measurements. On a CNC machine, to cut a thread form that is 60 degrees, the tool is fed into the workpiece at 30 degrees. However, on a manual lathe, in practice, the compound rest is actually set to 29 degrees to provide a light finish cut on the trailing side of the thread. This will allow the thread form to take the true shape of the actual cutter.
Now I know some people will say, oh no, a CNC machine goes straight in. It actually doesn't. It goes in at 30 degrees. You can also set different approach angles on your G76 can cycle. Let's take a moment to recap. On our machines, zero on the dials come from the center of the spindle. When setting up your angle, it is perpendicular to the center line of the axis. If you're only using your cross slide and not using your compound rest for your feed, you will be feeding in at zero, so therefore your compound rest can be set at any angle. Let's keep in mind this video is made for apprentices and people that are new to machining. What seems obvious to someone with experience might not be as obvious to a new person. Now hopefully by looking at this photo you can identify that this thread is cut at a 61 degree angle and no thread or nut will mate with this thread. Hopefully you found this video educational and entertaining. If you got any educational value out of this, please like and subscribe. Don't forget, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comments section below. Thanks again. Thank you for watching. Have a great night.